we've got the pizzas here. We're ready for you guys to make an opinion. But uh, who do you have here with you? Uh, this is uh, Tyler King, uh, hey, Tyler. head brewer and uh, director of brewing operations. Uh, he was here six months before we opened. And so, awesome. so he's he's kind of your your head beer guy here. He's the, yeah. he's the so we want your opinion. We want you guys to kind of taste these pizzas. Uh, Kelly Al put these together. I've got a little dough action underneath them. We want you to taste them and give us your thoughts. You're going to pick one of these as the challenge pizza. Yeah. Smell fin fantastic. Which yeah. one should we start with, Kelly? So, well, it's uh, what we have is guanciale, which is the pork chow. Oh, yeah. uh, this is from La Quercia. Herb is the owner. He's a good friend of ours at the restaurant. He's got, he raises, you know, he makes phenomenal prosciuttos and salamis of all kind. This is his, his guanciale. Um, and it's just a little bit of the joy of mozzarella. This is some of those, uh, you know, uh, whole peeled tomatoes, so red sauce. Mm -hmm. And um, a crust that Peter developed. Actually, if you if you wanted to touch, oh, I mean, yeah, the, the the dough. We've talked about the dough already. It's got malt in the dough, so I wanted to give you some malty yeah. undertones to uh, see if that would inspire it. any ideas for for a pizza. And While you're eating that, some, we're gonna we're gonna eat along with you because we haven't tasted this one yet either. Yeah. We have some pistachios in there as well from Santa Barbara, mm -hmm. and then um, you want to talk about the cheese for just a second now? Yeah, I, I really wanted to sort of play around with some really geeky cheese and just tie this all into the provisions ideals, if you will. So we chose Mimolette, which is a British cow's milk. Uh, it's aged quite a while. It's over a year old. Um, and it's uh, it's very salty. It's very grateable, like a Parmesan. A lot of times people will finish a pizza with Parmesan. So we decided, um, you know, let's take it an extra step and use some Mimolette because it's really known as being a great beer cheese. And just thought that might bring it back in. The next pizza is a white pizza. Um, the base is burrata and squash blossom. It actually went into the oven and cooked um, with some fennel pollen salt on the outside. And then we finished it with this um, lightly dressed salad of a wild arugula and the flowers of the arugula and uh, baccaronis, which is white anchovy, and then preserved lemon. So for some citrus. So this sauce. is like a pizza you will have never seen anywhere else. I don't know. This pizza has never been made before this moment. I don't think. Wow. Yeah. This is all about either you making my food taste better, or I guess now it's up to you to produce a beer that makes my food taste better. You know. The Great American Beer Festival in Denver at the end of September. Yeah. We yeah. want to serve whatever pizza they choose with the beer that they create. That's a good point. To thousands of people who come That's to that point. festival. Yeah. Any images or flavors come to your mind that that uh, would go with either of these? Making a beer to pair with this pizza is kind of going an easier route. We kind of want to make a multi toasty beer, kind of go with the, the pistachio, right? Yeah. I think this one we could be really experimental on. This one, there's, there's no holes. It would be a pretty out of the box beer. Yeah, though. it would definitely be different. Ingredients we yeah. can use in this that you know could directly go into our beer. <laughs> so the, the question, I guess, is, is uh, do you want to go the safe route or do you want to go the uh, avant garde route? Yeah, I think. I want to go with this pizza. Right? I think it's your goal. Uh, right. I, we could be really experimental. I think yeah. we could really go out of the box on this one. I I appreciate it. What do you think of the, the, the brininess or the butteriness of the anchovy? I got it on the first bite. It was really good. Yeah. It, it changed throughout the entire slice. Yes. So it was, it, it was really multi-dimensional. Has a kind of a flavor burst, a really intense does, burst. Yeah. And then the arugula has its own, like adds a little bitter tone. I like what you were talking about earlier with your beers, layering in the ingredients so that the beer itself has levels of dimensionality. We meet you in Denver, so let us have a, a, a pizza oven right there at the festival. We'll be there making pizzas with your beer. Fantastic. Awesome. Sounds good. Yep. All right.